What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one. We're looking at this right here, In Motion V12. Great option for people out there that are wanting to get into the hobby and just get something that's gonna satisfy them for a really long time. If I would've had this wheel right here, as opposed to this wheel, so this right here was a the King Song 16S. This is a 16 inch wheel as well. Same same kind of deal as this one. But this wheel would only go about 23 miles an hour. This one would go 43 miles an hour. And so you, that's just like, it's a huge difference. And you're gonna have so much more fun with this. And this would go about 65, 70 miles on, a, on one charge. This one would go about 30. Um, if that, maybe like 20 if you're really ripping around. But that that's just how that goes and the thing is with this the reason i'm saying that is because i had this wheel at the same time i had this wheel down here which is the v3s back in 2018 and that was my ultimate go-to for this city wheel right here this 16s and i love that wheel a lot guys and i feel like a 16 inch wheel is perfect for the city and if i would have had one that would have gone 40 miles an hour you wouldn't have been able to get me off of it you would not have been able to get me off the thing at all just living in the city um this is the city king even though i do trail ride it and ride it off road and everything in between this is just exactly what i would want being in the city for sure it's just perfect you got the like everything on it is just digital display nice trolley handle on it good speakers your ports are all sealed up back here nicely uh everything on it the pedals one thing i love about it is that there's three contact points for the pedals to be screwed in so no one really talks about that i'm loving that the fact that there's no play at all in the pedals that they're super solid i got the clark pads on here i just put these on they look so good so so good and you can even go in here on the other side you got where you can change the colors up on it and I am just loving the whole look of this wheel right here. I really am. This thing is absolutely fire. Uh, for a 16-inch wheel, you cannot beat this. If this wheel would have been out in the same time that this wheel was out, I mean, I simply would have been even more addicted to this hobby because this was the wheel I had in 2018, guys. Then this one I had in 2018 as well. That's the V3S. This is the Kingsong 16S. And these were my go-tos. Uh, when I lived in Denver pretty much for the majority of it. And this one right here saw a lot of use even when I had that one which was a little bit faster and an 18 inch wheel. And it, just because the convenience factor of a 16 inch wheel, it's it's it rides good, it's super nimble, you can get it in and out of places so nicely. And this one man being a wheel that goes 43 miles an hour while it's still being 16 inches and still being small form factor like that thing is like that thing's cumbersome to get that thing in and out of your car that's the veteran sherman right there this is just almost like 90 pounds that's cumbersome this is what you want guys this right here is what you want for for nine times out of ten um for most situations i still love that wheel don't get me wrong i love that wheel and if you think about long range cruising uh you can't beat it 100% but I'm telling you if you're doing anything within about 25 to 30 miles of, of distance this is what you need. this thing is amazing it's simply just so much fun to rip around on I love this thing got this new tire on here because I, I shredded through that other one the other one I had was like um, where even was that yeah that was it right there so that's already been the first tire I went through on my v12 now I'm on to another one already, so that does show how much I have been riding this thing, guys. I do like it a lot. Love the few little upgrades I've done to it as well. Got a the LCD display up here. I just got it kind of covered because I am prone to crashing a lot, so that's why I do that. Little bag on the back, and then I got the the free motion pedals. Loving these right here. I have um, put these in a lot of videos. The guys at Free Motion are mad at me for for not reviewing them but y'all have seen those many times if you've been watching the channel
the Enmotion V12. Let's take a look at it. We're just gonna go straight to the point. Hardcore riding on this thing. Looking at why you should get it, who it's for, and from the perspective of someone that, somebody that rides wheels that go even faster than this one. Let's look at it. You kind of no frills and just what you want to see when it comes to the Inmotion V12 as someone that's going to be maybe purchasing the wheel or someone interested and in, interested in the wheel and seeing what what it's got because a lot of people may be skeptical and if I didn't have these wheels sent you know to review I would be skeptical too like if I had like a veteran Sherman for instance or if I was ripping on a, a RS high torque or anything like that I'd be like all right well what does the little thing have to offer like what's so good about it and it's it's really I, I really appreciate the situation I'm in to be able to test these things out and kind of relay to you those, that information. And I know I am extremely positive on a lot of the reviews of these things. And it is because they're, they're, I've seen the growth in these things. And that's why I am so positive about it. I've seen where, where they've come from. And they used to be just terrible um, compared to where they're at now. And like with the Airwheel X3 back in like 2015, the top speed on that guy was like eight miles an hour. And we're going 40 miles an hour now on, on wheels that are pretty much the same size. So you, you gotta think about this guys. It's um, for me, everything kind of blows my socks off because I just am, am amazed at how fast these things are progressing and just how, how powerful they are and how much fun they are. And it, I just haven't gotten bored. So this is gonna be like going on my eighth year of riding coming up. And you know, there's been some times where I have, you know, gotten interested in females, <laughs> slacked off a little bit on riding it and then got back into it a little bit more than, than I have at other times. But for the most part, these are always been a, a, a way of my life for like the past seven and a half years. And I, I, I think I'll always ride them. I think I will always ride them. I think I'll always enjoy it. And it is definitely my favorite thing to do. And just the Inmotion V12, I think is something for, a, I think if somebody gets this wheel, it's just gonna be instant. Like you're gonna be addicted to this hobby. And I think it's a perfect, I think it's a perfect wheel. Um, there is a few, a few different things on it that, that you may wanna consider on this thing. Um, it's 2200 bucks, so you're right there at a really good point of price on this. You're not paying too much, and you're definitely not paying on the low end. So it's not like a, a cheap piece of equipment. And 2200 bucks is a lot. Of, you know, that's a lot of money to 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 anyone nowadays. You know, that's that's a chunk of change out there. And so you got to consider, um, you know, what you're getting. And I really do think this. It comes down to this: the way m money works is no one's going to spend money on something they think is exactly what the dollar value is. They just keep their money in their pocket. So, in order to get someone to, you know, want to buy something, you got to explain to them that hey, you know, this product right here is more than more than worth 2,200 bucks, in my opinion, for the enjoyment that I get out of it. And I definitely would say. Um, this is incredible, guys, because I paid 1900 bucks, I think it was. No, I think it was either, it was like right at 1300 bucks for the uh, Ninebot 1E+. Plus. That was the second wheel I had. That was in 2015, and that wheel was, it would go 12 and a half miles an hour, and it was $1,300, and it would go, you know, 20 miles on the charge. This one right here will go 40 miles an hour, and it's $300 more and it goes 60 miles on the charge. So you're getting in just an incredible piece of equipment. So like, like like with the Xboxes and stuff like that, you're not really getting much more than what you were paying for like back in like 25th or like if you're looking at like the Xbox One, like the original Xbox to like the new Xbox, yeah, like there's some graphics upgrades and whatnot, but with this, there's so much performance upgrades to it and there's so much technology upgrades to it and the price difference is not much higher than those original EUCs. And I think that's what's really cool about them and it might be sticker shock to a lot of people. I hate the people that say, um, you know, 
well, I could get a Honda Civic for that price, or I could go get a used car for that price. And it's like, well, yeah, I could go buy a donkey if I wanted to, too, you know? Like, what's, I, I, what's your point? It's like, uh, I, this is more fun than any of that. You can take it trail riding, you can ride it in the snow, you can ride it off-road, you can hit jumps with it, you can take it on public transit, you can have it in the back of your car at all times to go explore. And I think that's one thing that is really... 100% my favorite thing to do is uh, road tripping and then having this to be able to go explore places because you can you can travel to a new city and you know park your car get out and go to a restaurant walk around for a minute but you're not going to cover the ground that you would with one of these even if you you got an uber and paid for a taxi and you did everything you could to try to recreate in that city as fast as you could you would never be able to see a city or any type of place in the amount of time and see every little nook and cranny you wanted to stop it like piers you know you could go to like you could turn down and, and go down to a pier or something like in, in new york city if you were up, up there and you could check out the waterfront you can go take this on the beach you can go on all kind of unique different places you couldn't even take a motorcycle you couldn't take a, a skateboard for sure i like traveling with skateboards i used to always do that stuff after seeing casey neistat with the the skateboard back in the day but this is just the best thing to do to have with you and if you have two of them that road trip where i took that veteran sherman and my exn and i road tripped uh from colorado to los angeles and just stopped along the way at several places that was just awesome i had so much battery power with those two wheels and didn't even need to stop and charge so if that's a concern with you you know kind of doing the van life thing and, and you, you got going on just get two wheels that have a ton of range in it get you like one of these right here and then maybe like an exn eventually if if you can afford that and then you'd be good to go you really would you'd have so much power from destination to destination before you'd have to recharge so that that's really cool and i, I want to get into that once i have some more free time i think adventuring and doing the van like kind of van life thing with the unicycles and making the primary thing is traveling to spots with the unicycle and then sightseeing and videoing it and showing you guys around different spots because the United States is really, really cool, man. And not a lot of people get out there and see what it has to offer. And we got a great interstate highway system and you can cover a lot of ground. And the only guys that are really out there using it are people that are retired and people that have just said hell with the system and then truck drivers so you, i'm telling you man there's not a lot of people really uh using it like you would think so getting out there and exploring the united states is something i definitely want to do and i'm not really i, I want to explore the world but there's no point of going to explore the world if i haven't really explored my own backyard to the fullest extent if you think about it that's what i've always thought about i'm like well, why do people go and explore the I mean, they probably know more about Europe than they do about the backside of their neighborhood in some cases. So it just, it's just one of those things, man, uh, where I really want to be able to get out and fully explore every bit of spe specifically like the upper part of the United States, like the northern, northwestern United States in specific really interests me. I really like the terrain up there. I like just the sheer abundance and just the wildlife out there. And, it's really just a cool spot, honestly. Driving from Colorado to Oregon was, it was awesome, honestly. It was really cool seeing just how expansive it is. And I'd love to live somewhere where I got elk running through the yard and just deer outside and it, you know, it, where you're just out there where you can crank up a snowmobile in the winter time and just go cruising. Or either you can just, you know, do whatever you want. Have a bonfire in the yard and all that. So, yeah, that's the way to do it, man. That's kind of what people are missing out on, man. Like, living in the city is cool. You have a lot of amenities. You got a lot of people around for the social life and all that. But, man, I'm telling you what, those people that are living out there, they got it figured out. They got it figured out, buddy. I'm telling you, they're doing something right. But anyways, trail riding on these things and just being able to explore places, like I said, is the coolest thing. Because you can just get out real quick, guys. Throw on a helmet, throw on gloves pull this out of your car and park somewhere safe in a city and then just go cruise man and just go 
OC everything, really. You got like a little superpower on your feet. You get around and it's amazing. You don't have to pay for taxis, you don't have to do any of that. You got a road trip because you can't fly with these things. That's the one downfall. I really wish there was a way to fly with these things. And um, I, I, If anybody that works for airlines or anything like that that knows a way around it, if you can, comment it below, man. If you can like ship the batteries, if you could do something different where you could fly with one of these. Because that would be really cool. And it, I mean, I think it'd be fine flying with them. I really don't, I don't know. I don't see a problem with it at all. So nothing like it. it's just the same exact batteries that go in a laptop or a mobile phone or anything like that. Listen to me, mobile phone over here. How old am I? Uh, anyways, this thing rips, man. So what I really like about this wheel, as opposed to really any other wheel, if I was just getting into this hobby, if I, I honestly, if I was just getting into this hobby, and I had one wheel to purchase one wheel straight up to purchase and i wanted to go and get the new wheel i had you know about 2200 bucks to spend and i was like okay i don't really want to get a wheel that's been out for a while i want to get something that's new but i don't want to spend all that cash for those really expensive new wheels i think this is this is exactly what you're going to want to go for and it's guys i rode the king song 16s for instance so that was a 16 inch wheel i'm comparing it to that that wheel went about the top speed on that one guys what was it like 26 miles an hour it would no it was lower than that it was like 22 miles an hour and guys this one right here is 43 miles an hour this one goes twice as fast as the king song 16s i had and that was when i lived in denver and i, I lived in the city down in denver guys and just rode that thing every single day every solitary day i went through three tires on that 16s just riding around the city and that was just my favorite city wheel in general and you guys know i love riding fast i had the that was back when i had the 16s and the gotway m super v3s which was the like that one you if you know about that wheel you know about that wheel but that was a the v3s was like the fastest wheel for its time straight up so that was a in 2018 the v3s would go about i could get mine to about 30 35 36 miles an hour and so that's that was cooking man for 2018 on a wheel and being able to really if you could find a good trail where you had to get technical with it it really felt like you were flying man and that's where i really developed the skills was on the v3s but in the city whenever i wasn't riding trails and everything my go-to was always that king song 16s and i think if i'd have had 20 more miles an hour out of that thing it would have just amazed me i would have had so much fun on that thing in the city just day to day and i would kind of miss it I, I do miss city riding in some forms and if you ha if you have to work in the city you got to travel every day this is a no-brainer i mean you have to have one of these you have to you absolutely have to even for the winter time people are going to be walking around in the winter time guys with soaking wet shoes you get a little bit you get a little knobby tire on this thing and you get a decent on it and you ride it straight to work without ever having to put your feet down and you, you're the only one that comes into the office with completely dry shoes and the only one that didn't have to pay for an Uber or take your car out. And I love that about these things. It's just, they're so convenient for the city. And this is the ultimate city wheel. So the 16S right here, being able to accelerate quickly between the blocks because you might have to be held up by red lights and all that type of stuff. So your fast acceleration is where your fun comes from. That's where that's where your, the enjoyment of the wheel is gonna be. And this thing just takes off like your Sonic. And this thing, it, it, that's what I really love about it is just how fast it, it accelerates. It's super small, the trolley handles good, clean looking wheel, clean looking design and it doesn't look like a toy. So I did the, a breakdown. I've got a video coming out. It's gonna be talking about the best wheel under $2,000. And this one was just one of those that was right over that $2,000 mark. But I was like, this has so many features. This wheel is just so fast with that 1,750 watt hours and the latest batteries in it. 2500 watt motor just like the sherman guys it flies for a little wheel it is sick for 16 inch wheel man it takes off love that about it the acceleration is my favorite thing about the little wheel it is i mean that's it 
the only thing I don't like about it simply is um, off-roading it. At it being a 16-inch wheel, you got to really put your core strength into it, guys, and you really got to work with it. And some of you might not like that. You, some of you might like the ease of an 18-inch wheel for riding off-road. But I really enjoy this little little thing. And if you get the technique down, you can ride it on-road, off-road, everything in between. It's fast, has all the range there is, and it's not too big, and it's not too heavy. So I think this hits the nail on the head perfect for that wheel right over that $1,500 mark um, and $2,000 mark uh, specifically. I mean, that's kind of a jump. You got the $1,500 mark with like the V10F right now, and then the $2,000 wheel that I would go for for sure right now is like the 18XL. That's still in stock. That's a really great option. If you want to get something shipped to your door before Christmas time, 18XL, that's a really solid option. But you can pre-order this wheel, the S20, the Hero, all the latest wheels. Links below, guys. It helps the channel out and is greatly appreciated. Also, throw the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. It's been Chooch. I'll see you in the next one.